Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I am going to tell you what my May poetry favorites are for the month. This is going to be my last month in this apartment. So sad. But I have a vlog channel in which I'm going to explain the whole reason I'm moving and stuff like that so that I don't bog down these videos. But I am just going to go ahead and get started with my poetry and quote favorites for the month. I think easily my favorite is from my favorite book of the month. It's from The Bronze Horseman. Some words were like that, whole lives attached to them. Ghosts and Lives and Ecstasy and Sorrow. It's by Paulina Simons. Isn't it so beautiful? And on a side note, I started reading How to Kill a Rockstar by Tiffany De Bartolo. I thought, you know what? I'm eating alone at an Italian restaurant, completely empty, and it's awkward. That's what I had on my Kindle app. So I started reading it, and I'm like, oh my god, I need this book. And then I went home and I bought it because I needed it. So I am reading that. Hence why I'm about to read a bunch from that. It's so good. I'm sorry for the really long explanation. I'm getting back to it now. For what it's worth, I think happiness is a fleeting condition, not a permanent goddamn state of mind. I've learned that if you chase after moments of bliss here and there, sometimes those moments will sustain you through the shit. Personally, I don't like inherently happy people. I don't trust them. I think there's something seriously wrong with anyone who isn't at least a little let down by this world. <sighs> Do you feel what I feel? There are things we will never tell anyone. We want to, but we can't. So we write them down, or we paint them, or we sing them. It's our only option, to remember, to attempt to discover the truth. Sometimes we do it to stay alive. These things, they live inside us. They are secrets we stash in our pockets and weapons we carry like guns across our backs. And in the end, we have to decide for ourselves when these things are worth fighting for. And I have more. There's gonna be a couple just from How to Kill a Rockstar. There's a big difference between being alone and being lonely. And I'm guessing that once you've discovered the distinction, you can't go back to solitary confinement without emotional repercussions. Anything less than mad, passionate, extraordinary love is a waste of time. There are too many mediocre things in life to deal with, and love should not be one of them. Tell me what you listen to, and I'll tell you who you are. That just speaks volumes above just that sentence. I realize there's something incredibly honest about trees in winter, how they're experts at letting go by Jeffrey McDaniel. It just, it caught me off guard. I don't know, it doesn't seem like a big thing. I don't know, it just caught me by surprise. That's the best way I can explain it. If people sat outside and looked at the stars each night, I bet they'd live a lot differently. When you look into infinity, you realize there are more important things than what people do all day. Calvin and Hobbes. There are quotes that I want to read from The Bronze Horseman, but they will spoil it, so I can't do that. So you should just check out my book talk on that and watch the non-spoiler section. And then when you do read it, because you should read it, then you can watch the spoiler section. But I can't read them from that. The only one that I can say is, and in the middle of my chaos, there was you. But otherwise, I can't really read anything from it. But just trust me when I say that that book is just chock full of beautiful writing. That is about all for this month. It's a little bit shorter than most months, and I think it's because I've just been packing all month and I haven't really had time to sit on Tumblr and find amazing quotes or Pinterest. So like I said before, you should check out my May random favorites, which I will have linked down there in the description, and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye!